Good morning and welcome to our New York travel day. We are currently, we're currently sitting in a bar called Juniper and Cone. Shars, obviously with the Prosecco. Cheers, it's currently four past eight in the morning. We are here, <laughs> we're drinking early and we're here really early because we don't take off till 12. So there's that. Could have stayed in bed. That's what um that's what airports are missing. You know like them pod hotels, you should be able to rent them by the hour. Yeah. Or they put a cinema in an airport. Why not put a cinema in an airport? So in case you didn't know, this is Victoria's first trip away without um her three children, my nieces and nephews. And her husband <laughs> got her a car. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you're leaving emotional baggage. And he gave us some dollars, but this card is absolutely hilarious. Getting the essentials. The take a breaks. Take a breaks. When you're down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say. That's not okay. We just got to the hotel, we've just checked in. We're not happy and we're gonna tell you why. So we paid, I can't remember how much we paid per night, I'll put it down here. But this is one of the things that annoys me about Agoda, and I found this now, is they don't tell you all of the extras you have to pay. So obviously I expected to pay a security deposit, you have to always pay a security deposit in hotels. With this one though, it's $100 a night. So I just had to put $300 on a credit card. Which is not cool. But then on top of that, they also charge you a $30, what's it called? I don't know what you said, like a resort fee. A resort fee or something. Fee or something um, a night. Which you get back and you get to spend at the grab and go and at the bar or the restaurant. So you do get it. And what's the point you charge it in the first place? Exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me, so... We've got to find out more information about it, but basically, we'll have to pay, we're going to have to pay an extra ninety dollars because we will get that deposit back, but they will deduct ninety dollars from it regardless. So we've got to make sure we use it, and the the money goes okay, back. It's a daily mandatory destination charge. Is it a New York thing? will be added to the room rate and includes premium guest internet access, daily $35 food and beverage credit for use in the hotel, restaurant, bars, bicycle. That's what it says. So yeah. So we're just gonna chill for a minute because obviously we've been traveling all day. We're gonna chill, just gonna relax, freshen up a little bit. And then we're gonna head out to dinner. We're gonna go Bubba Gumps. 
sorry i'll see you in a minute three two one eight okay let me just come in shut the door put the locks on okay so we come into the room quite a spacious area this is the bathroom we've got an accessible room so this is a shower sink toilet my fingers <laughs> a nice mirror to check yourself before you walk out the door we'll be using that for selfies then we have closet space coat hangers extra blanket extra pillow iron what's in there hair dryer nice and a luggage rack ironing board nice tv here's the bed in victoria say hi little more storage space here it's a very nice size room chair with a footstool here's a desk and this is our view i can't get <laughs> which is really cool actually One hour later. <laughs> so in case you can tell, we're obviously at Bubble Girls. <laughs> Shop for it, I know. Please excuse how rough I look. I'm very tired. But obviously, we've got cocktails. Same cocktails always. Bubba's Blue Hawaiian. I'll put it here, but it's the same cocktail we always have. Because it's absolutely delicious. And it's only $11. Cheers, broski, to a great sister weekend. So Victoria's gone for what I had in California, which is the Mama's Fried Chicken, which has gone like I did with chips instead of mashed potato. And I've gone for the chicken Caesar salad. I mean, it's a salad, but we'll do a taste test. Mm. 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 Very nice. So I do taste it. <laughs> no? mm -hmm. The floor manager just came and complimented us some cookies for later. How cute is that? I really like this ribbon as well. I'm definitely going to keep that. Oh, but how cute. You. It was so busy on Times Square. We went to Target and we got some schnacks. Um, let me show you what we got. <laughs> I'm not. Gonna down. <laughs> this, is, this is not our full target haul, this is just a snack. So we've got Lay's, we've got Classics, and Barbecue. We've got some Chippy Ahoy's. Chippy Ahoy's, yeah. Chippy Ahoy's, yeah. Victoria got some Monster, because you can't function without it. And we got some Diet Mountain Dew. Okay, so we're back at the hotel. We are showered, we are fresh, we're in our pajamas. And we're in bed. Look, at her, look, she's like struggling. We're trying to stay awake for as late, for as long. I can't even speak <laughs> for as long as possible before we go to sleep, so that we kind of beat the jet lag. It's currently twenty to ten. So, how long have we been up for? I think about nineteen hours. No, I don't know. Hold on, let me check. So we've been awake for twenty-two hours. We had, we each had a bit of a snooze on the plane, but it weren't really. It was pants. I nearly swore. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna sign off to vlog. So oh thanks for joining us for our travel day, and we'll see you tomorrow for New York day one. Bye. I forgot this morning, so this is a late sign in my stage, but <laughs> welcome to New York day one. one. You wanna go ice skating? What are you going to focus? And my mom's like, so much for my Charger Barbie Yankees. You know, I mean. There's so many Barbies in here. Totally hair Barbie. Look at this like color of your tie dye set. This is $55. They're only $20. They're like $25. $25, £25 pound back home. These cutie reveals. Guess what? These are definitely £25 back home. They are $28 here, so 
save a bit. Got some cotton candy peeps. This is so cool in here, it's massive. Oh, there's cotton candy clouds. They still have the FOA Adoption Centre. I have one of these dolls. I'll show you when I'm home, but I have one and I... When did we adopt them? 2008 would be, wouldn't it? A long, long time ago. But yeah, I've still got mine with the wristband and I'll show you when I... Um, I'll put it a clip in here. I found him. This is Reese. I got him in 2008. I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to read this. Um, let me see if I can get it to focus. But it actually says Reese, July 4th, 2008, FOA Schwartz. NYC. So this is one of the original FAO Swartz adoption babies you could get in the original FOA Schwartz shop. Oh, we're going up again. The shop is a massive. Build a bear. I found Build a bear. But look at the outfit. There's a Statue of Liberty outfit and a football. Sorry, a Statue of Liberty outfit. It's an apple. How cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tori's checking the floor stable. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. <laughs> Please. Ding! Order up! <laughs> what you got? Egg, scrambled, oh, sc egg, scrambled egg and fried egg and pancakes. That's too much egg. It's too much egg, mate. Can you change it? Hang on, I'll change it. Oh, okay. <gasps> Bacon. Yes. Just looking at all the Harry Potter American Girl stuff, like you can get the Quidditch set with the rings and the golden snitch. And you can also get like the chest and it comes with the jelly beans and the chocolate frog and the acceptance letter and the owl and then obviously you get your houses costumes and then you um you get the cloak with the skirt yeah i think they do a trouser one yeah so there's a trouser one and then there's a skirt one. Oh, this is super cool did I just move or am I actually losing my... <gasps> it did move! <laughs> I'm not losing the plot. Oh look, home. More than I already did. Home? <laughs> a mouth... I swear a mouth opened a minute ago. I don't know, yeah, yeah, she's funny. He smiled at you. Oh, thanks, Emmett. Everything is awesome. Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> what a beautiful chocolate man. <laughs> Going on the subway. <laughs> Subway. Where is the subway?
It is so pretty. So we're at Trinity Church and I just tried to go to Alexander Hamilton's grave but apparently we're not allowed in the graveyard. So it's a bit rubbish but we tried. I saw it from a distance. We tried. That is. That's his grave. Steaming and it's like steaming there. And there's a New York cab. Talk about a shot. Turn the car. Yeah. So now it is time to walk across Brooklyn Bridge. All the way over. What's the word? Margarita. Hello from Margarita. So, like I said, we went halfway through Brooklyn Bridge because we underestimated just how long it was, and we've been walking all day. So we walked like half the way, and then we turned around and walked back, um, and then we got the subway again, and now we're sitting in Margaritaville having a drink. Yeah, let me show you the cocktail we've got. If you're, what? Drink or ten. Drink or ten, apparently. Um, if you remember from the California vlog, oh, I had this in Margaritaville in California. It's the five o'clock somewhere. Look at this beauty. Let me tell you what's in it. There it is, one. So, <coughs> whilst at the bar, we met a very nice mum and daughter combo called Caitlin and Rita. We are currently moved from the bar to the table to talk to Caitlin and Rita. We're going to introduce you. We're going to brunch with them tomorrow, but we're going to introduce you. Someone just came round and took our photo and then went away. And I have no idea where the photo is or where it's gone. This is Rita. Say hi, Rita. Rita writes children's books and they're on Amazon and I'll link them below. On Amazon, we're going to link it. We will link it below so you can read it. But Rita is amazing. She's so cool. She's so lovely. She's like, she's not famous. She's just like, stop Everybody, meet Caitlin. <laughs> this is Caitlin. Hi. We met her at the bar and she was like, come and join us. And we're Hi. like, nice to see you. We were I drinking. Oh, the guy behind. Oh, the guy behind. hotel we popped to mcdonald's on the way home we're both feeling a little bit let me not lie back we're both feeling a bit very drunk no you're feeling very drunk i'm not so we got mcdonald's and I we got sensible. 20 nuggets and two large fries and we're gonna eat them now let me show you 20 nuggets two large fries victoria's got barbecue sauce i've got ranch sauce we're eating these with a mountain dew each Okay, so we had a McDonald's and we're now cozy in bed. I had too much to drink, really. But we're going to bed because we've got a busy day tomorrow. Today, I was for one and got a time. Shush. Um, tomorrow is the day. So, thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow for New York Day. Bye. Good morning and welcome to New York Day 2. So this morning we're off to the Disney store and the Hershey World store. We're doing that really quickly because we have to FaceTime our parents when we're there. So time and difference Madison. and Madison. So 
We're going there this morning, then we're coming back. We're getting ready. We're going to brunch. Oh, my lighting's gone. There you go. We're going to brunch with Rita and Caitlin that we met last night. And then it's Middle Rouge. Today's the day. Oh, it's happening. It's shiny. Tank is clean. <gasps> Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So let's go to the Disney store. Yes. Hi. Disney! Look at his mug. Oh, there's an even bigger mug. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, it's all out of focus. Come on, focus. Oh, Roger Rabbit. Downhearted. Look at Mickey ears. <gasps> Lounge lights. Oh, look at them. Cut one, that's cold. The tiki room one. Oh, look at the drawn one. Oh, well, I love that. How cool is this? Oh, I like it. It's really pretty. This is so. Oh my god, look at that chandelier. Oh, it's the castle. Oh, look at that. They're nice. Oh, look. And Jesse. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was a cute. Chocolate, 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 chocol
for the colours of the Super Bowl and the Eagles just got a touchdown so now it's like flashing green. That's really cool. That's a good view to be fair, I can't fault it. Chiefs touchdown is lighting up red. Hi. So we decided to come back to the hotel um, so we could start packing. Oh, and it's the Super Bowl, so we're watching the Super Bowl. Um, and we were like, what do we want for dinner? So, we've ordered Panda Express, because you can't go wrong with Panda Express. And I can actually eat now that I'm not feeling so sick. So, <laughs> we've both got teriyaki chicken and rice. And it's very, very nice. I'm nailing this rhyming thing, I'm just, just saying. I've already started eating it, but look how good. Oh, Num, 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 num. Good morning and welcome to New York Day 3. Yeah. <coughs> uh, and also a travel home puffy day. Puffy eyes on. Why are you interrupting my intro for? Puffy eyes. Welcome to our travel home day. <laughs> It's cool. Hi, it's me again. Um, we're at the airport. Well, I'm just letting them know it's me again. Uh, we're at the airport. We're through security. We are at five state. Just having a bite to eat. Uh, we're here quite early. What's time? 20 to 2. Our flight doesn't take off until 6. Well, technically 5.59. Whoever made that up. Um, so yeah, we're having some food. Let me show you what we're eating. I've got the chicken BLT but without bacon because I don't like bacon. <laughs> and then Victoria's got the steak burger. Is it nice, Toy? Are you going to do taste tests? And maybe in a minute I'll do a taste test. She don't like the chips. Is it nice, Victoria? You're missing out. That's a really good burger. Very good burger. I'm going to enjoy my chicken BLT but without the T and B. <laughs> I don't do tomatoes and I don't do bacon, but this looks nice. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. had a baby on board but the baby wasn't the problem the baby was very cute and very well behaved we had three drunk guys behind us that they just kept giving me vodka and i'm not gonna go into detail but it was just not a pleasant experience i did not get one bit of sleep my sister managed to sleep but then got told off because she fell asleep on the train table <laughs> because they were kicking the chair so we couldn't like lay back and sleep and i can't lean forward but whatever um JetBlue are a very budget airline and they are cheap but I don't know if I'll fly with them again because the staff are just not friendly and the whole experience was just not great. 
but I can't wait to start editing these vlogs for you. Um, it was a truly remarkable experience. Just literally going from planning it in my head to actually doing it was the best bit. Literally when I got to Moulin Rouge and I sat there and he came out, I was like, I had a bit of a realization that I was doing it. But then when he actually, like when the music started for Roxanne and when he did the, he opted down, I've got a video clip of it. I don't think I can put it in, but I'll try. Um, but when he just did it, I literally I was suing <laughs> my sister. I was like, I'm not ready. I am not ready. And then he did it and I cried because I was like, I'm actually here in New York seeing Aaron Trevate in Moulin Rouge. Highlight of my year. Highlight of my year. This year is off to a bang and I can't wait to go on the other trips. So, thank you so much for watching. If you did like them, don't forget to give them a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you soon. So for some in between vlogs, so day in the life and hauls and all things else. So take care and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.